But man, they really told me to tap in. Next day, I was supposed to clear and look at my account, yo. Bro, what the? Now, you're probably thinking to yourself that this guy got himself into a call center situation, got scammed by an Indian guy called John. John took $31,000 from his account and hit him with the outro of a by Ben Troy. Well, you could have not been more wrong. Apparently, there's a new TikTok trend called the infinity money glitch. Just like GTA, you go, you put in some XYZs, and your money triples trillions of uh, billions of money on your... And if you pay attention in that video, it says that this guy is in a... ATM debt error, $31,000. One absolutely donkey person went on TikTok less than 48 hours ago, posted a video saying that there is a money glitch happening and you can get money out of that ATM without having the amount in your account. So dream big, go big, win big with Chase Bank. Now for the past hour, I've been looking for the original video to see who was the person who started this whole trend Nowhere to be found. That guy went John Cena mode. There are hundreds of videos posted about this, but everyone's sharing their opinion and they're sharing, giving information to the people. Some are filming people on the street. No, I said it's heavy. The rumors started trending on TikTok and everyone kept on sending it to their WhatsApp friends group, sharing it with their friends and telling them, you know what? We don't need to work for our dreams anymore. We can get the BMW M4 M5 as soon as possible without even working for it because... I just found the infinity money glitch. How does how does this infinity money glitch work? There are two ways. First way, apparently, if you go to Chase ATM to withdraw your money, once you're done withdrawing your money, it gives you a, a customer satisfaction survey that you know you have a choice to fill out or not. But one thing that Chase Bank messed up in this situation was the fact that until you finish that customer satisfaction survey your account is not going to log out so if you just leave it like that and say okay i got my money peace the next person can come and press back 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 go to have access to all your account and can transfer your money to their account second way the way it works is apparently there was a glitch in the system where you can just write up a check chase check and just put it inside the bank thirty thousand dollars when your bank account is like twenty dollars but before it verifies this check it is going to give you the money so people started to dream big but not that big unrealistically with millions of dollars people went tens of thousands of dollars like that guy who who gave in thirty one thousand dollars there are people with forty thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars fifteen thousand dollars and the list goes on but one thing a lot of people failed to realize they got blinded by that money glitch oh my god i'm about to get my favorite car my favorite item or whatever is the u.s government loves three things and three things only in their life they care about oil they care about the banks and the third thing is sending money to israel any chance they get so if you think you can glitch your way into getting a life hack gta money you are mistaken because they're going to come after every single one of you whoever participated in this trend you, you might be you know watching this you might wanted to go through this trend you maybe you did maybe you lost some money but most of us watching we have a little bit of brain cell that we can look into reality and see that it's just not that easy. The US government will work eight days a week to identify these guys and take the money back, hit them with a the fine, or the people who already, you know, gave in the checks, they're going to be in heavy, heavy debts. Whatever amounts they took, they're going to, you know, not get that money and be in debt and get a fine on top of it. And then their accounts are gonna be held for seven days. And just to clarify the second part of this money glitch it is not called the infinity money glitch it is it has a very simple word for it it is called financial fraud it is nothing new it's been around for a very long time but people apparently under 25 do not usually know how banks work and the second they started getting that money not realizing they're going to be fine they're going to be ar potentially arrested and they're going to have their accounts closed up took it to the street and started celebrating Shit! What did they miss after that video? They missed how their lives were and how ungrateful they were before this whole TikTok trend. You know They're going to be walking a thousand miles to pay back those debts.
and this isn't the first time that this whole thing happened it apparently happened to cash up that i had no knowledge of i just researched and turns out cash app had this glitch as well apparently other banks other apps they had this glitch as well where it's not really a glitch it is literally fraud and a lot of people fall into it because of the idea of not working for their money <laughs> Here's a video of another guy who regretted his life the second he started to join this trend, checking his funds availability. I knew it. I knew it. I told you. I told you. The fuck? Bro, I fucking knew it. This fucking dumbass ATM, bro. Fuck Chase, nigga. I knew not to fuck with Chase. Fuck Chase, man. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck, man, I know I shouldn't have been to this shit, man. What the fuck, bro? Bro told me tap in, bro. Bro said he got the drop a day before this shit could happen, bro. With, like, yo, 50 tap in. I'm gonna hook you up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm like, I bet this is my only shit, bro. Now, I have no idea how many people tapped into this whole trend, but I have no doubt it is minimum a couple of thousand people. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to catch every single one of them. I think around... One to five percent of the people who did this whole thing got away with it, but the ninety-five percent they're going to be in for a in a debt for a very long time. And I like the fact that these guys, after losing their money, not getting anything out of it, you know, having a chance of getting arrested, having a chance of going to court, losing all this money, and first thing they decide to do is, you know what? Let me record my pain. Let me go on TikTok and make a video. Might as well cover, like, get a, get, get a viral video out of it and get, like, 100 bucks from it, at least. Now, the spokesperson of Chase Bank told the Post consumers should be skeptical if something seems too good to be true. It likely is. He or she also said, we are aware of this incident and it has been addressed. Regardless of what you see online, depositing a fraudulent check and withdrawing funds from your account is fraud plain and simple and these people i think they're going to I, I i don't know shit about banks but what i'm guessing is they're going to have a record with different banks as well if they want to open different banks and they're going to have a history of fraudulent so tiktok is truly an interesting place it can risk your life it can ruin your life it can there's there's nothing good coming out of tiktok anything that tiktok trend is happening now i believe the only way that this whole thing will be acceptable is if you're sitting at home one day or you wake up in the morning and you see 50 or $100,000 just pop into your account. That is a time where you take it out. You spend it as fast as you can. And when the bank comes up, sorry, we accidentally sent you a mistake. You know, by mistake, we send you 100K. It's not really your money. You have to pay it back or we'll take it to court. That is a time where you say, what money? And if they decide to take you to court, just be like the night before I prayed to God to help me with my financial problems. And in the morning, my answer, my prayers were answered. That, that's the thing. I'm kidding. Obviously, do not try this. It was just a joke. YouTube is definitely going to demonetize or, or age strict or even take down this video because I'm promoting, you know, if you get $100,000 in your account, spend it. So definitely do not do what I would do. So next time you come across a TikTok trend which involves banks, it is not GTA, it is reality. Banks love their money and their bank more than their mothers. They will touch you in places you have never been touched before. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you think about this whole trend. Let me know if this, if you heard about this sooner, would you have really gone for it or not? But yeah, uh, like, subscribe, you know the rest. I don't need to remind you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.